थैंक यू वेरी वेरी मच टू ऑल ऑफ यू हेल्प मी टू गेट दिस अमेजिंग माइल स्टोन सब्सक्राइब एंड राइट आई एम सब्सक्राइब इन द कमेंट्स एंड आई विल मेंशन यू इन माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेट्स मेक आवर यूट्यूब फैमिली रिच वन के मेंबर्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब हेलो एवरी वन यू ऑल मे रिकोगनाइज दिस इलेक्ट्रिक वाटर हीटिंग केटल बिकॉज दिस केटल कैन बी फाउंड इन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी हाउस होल्ड द मोस्ट फैसिनेटिंग थिंग फॉर मी इज दैट इट ऑटो कॉट्स ऑफ whenever water starts boiling and won't let you power off again until the water is cooled down how does it actually know if the water has been boiling or not and how the switch returns to off position when the water starts boiling we have lots of question in our mind right now so stick with me till the end of this video and we will find out the answers due to my deep interest in finding and learning its working principle i started opening it up in a hope to see something smart like sensors microcontrollers drillers etc etc but it does not seem to have any of those things the power coming from the connector goes to the switch and then to the heating element directly nothing interesting to see here so i thought interesting things might be hidden in its handle so i started opening it as well Here we got our switch. Let's remove it too. Oh shit. There is just a switch. No temperature sensor, no ICs, no relays, nothing at all. How the hell does it work? After scratching my head around for some time, I think I finally solved the mystery. The actual magic happens not in the front of the switch, but the back of it. This metal piece here does all the magic that is turning switch off whenever water boils. You might also ask how but I am here just for that. I turned the switch on manually and let's see if it turns off if I hit that metal piece with a lighter. And yes it does. This piece is pushing against the switch and it does not allow the switch to stay in on position until the metal is cooled down. Hey you can observe this behavior more clearly so you can't accidentally turn the switch on if water is already hot now as we know how it works we can finally reassemble everything but now while reinstalling the switch you can ask the handle is made up of plastic and it is an insulator then how that metal can heat up and turn off this switch if it does not have contact with the metal body and here you will be absolutely right it doesn't have contact with metal body but it can heat up and turn off the switch company did some pretty smart work here and you don't need to worry i will explain everything to you in this diagram let's suppose the kettle is filled up with water and when water reaches 100 degrees celsius it starts boiling the water starts turning into steam and because steam always tries to move up some of it escapes from the pouring side of the kettle but the smart thing is that the same steam is forced to go inside the handle because there is a path in the handle through which steam can go in the hot steam heats up the metal piece in the switch and turns off power for the heating element in the kettle this piece right here has a very special role and that is redirecting the hot steam from inside the kettle to the switch This piece along with the covering plastic piece makes all that magic happen. While I was reassembling everything, I imagined an another situation and wanted to know its result as well. And the imaginary situation is that let's say we have no water in the kettle and you accidentally turned it on. Since there is no water in the kettle, there will be no any steam generated. And also if there is no steam, then the metal piece in the switch cannot get hot and auto cut cannot be triggered if kettle keeps on heating without water then will it destroy itself for the sake of experiment i thought of trying it as well my mom will kill me if anything goes wrong i did not add any water on kettle and also removed the switch so there is no way that auto cut can trigger and turn off power for the heating element Now let's see what will happen. The steam from the remaining water seems to come, 
बट लेट्स वेट फॉर द रिजल्ट वो इट टर्न ऑफ हावे बट सुच इज स्टिल ऑन इज इट डेड एंड द आंसर इज एक्चुअली नो द फेल्स ऑफ मैकेनिज्म गॉट इनटू एक्शन हियर इट इज स्टार्टेड वर्किंग नॉर्मली आफ्टर आई एडेड सम वाटर एंड अगेन आई कुड नॉट स्टॉप माय सेल्फ टियरिंग इट अपार्ट वंस अगेन टू हंट फॉर दिस मैकेनिज्म हावेवर दिस टाइम आई हैड सम आईडिया हाउ इट वर्क The main connector, which connects to its base for power, has that built-in Helsef mechanism, and you can't see that easily unless you do some pretty heavy teardown. It has that same metal piece which we saw in the switch, which in normal case is turned on, but it pushes to disconnect the power if temperature exceeds its threshold temperature. But unlike our switch, it has direct contact with metal body and doesn't rely on other agents for switching. Here you can see the switch terminals which are normally closed but when that metal piece heats up it pushes that white rod and disconnects the terminals you can see this in action here it keeps power disconnected until the port is again cooled down and this is the felsef mechanism which saves the port from going red hot if my imaginary situation mentioned earlier becomes true any time in your real life The circuit diagram is really very simple with just two switches connected in series on which one of them is primary and is located on the handle and the secondary one is felsef which is located inside the kettle The technology used in this kettle really surprised me It is ridiculously cheap extremely simple and reliable and also seem to be very durable as I have been using this kettle for over 2 years now Now by the end of this video I think you have completely understood its working principle and can also repair by yourself for normal malfunctions If you enjoyed this or if this video helped you a bit then please don't forget to subscribe I'm Nishal and I will see you in the next one till then bye bye